Hey guys, welcome to the channel Adventure Travel and Scuba here. Another tutorial and a video how to change your rear brakes on your Africa Twin. Uh, I have changed my brakes in the rear about two years ago and that was on one of my adventures down to British Columbia. I had to do it on the parking lot of Dairy Queen because uh, good thing I had a spare. I usually carry a spare set uh, a year after I purchased a new one. This way, when you're stuck on the road, they don't take that much room. They became really helpful to have. And last time, I got probably slightly over 20,000 uh, kilometers of the rear. And uh, I did change the front uh, like two weeks ago before I headed out to my Nordic uh, off-road trip because they were already squeaking and uh, I thought I was just gonna clean them up and, and not get away without changing. But uh, I had uh, 49,000 kilometers on the clock and uh, when I pulled them apart, uh, there were not, there was still some life in them, maybe another uh, couple thousand kilometers. But uh, since uh, I like to be safe and proactive, so I changed it earlier. So as I mentioned on the rear last time, I got about 20,000, uh, slightly over 20,000. And this time, if I have to change them, that's going to be probably about similar because I'm sitting at 49 right now. And last time I used the OEM Honda brakes because they didn't have in stock any EBC. This time I was able to manage uh, to get the new EBC's replacement pads for the Africa Twin at my local Honda dealer. Uh, they're not cheap. Uh, they're probably, I would say, similar cost to the OEM. I think I paid for them like uh, 42 bucks or something like that Canadian. So I will show you how to change those brakes because last time I didn't have the opportunity to film it. I was sort of in a rush even though I did have the camera and everything but I didn't film it. I just quickly wanted to change while the guys had an ice cream. So I swapped them out and we carried on uh, on our adventure. And as always if you like the content on this channel it's really helpful if you hit that like button, comment down below and subscribe. Uh, that helps my YouTube algorithm and it helps to push my content through as a small YouTube so that's always really really appreciated and for all of you that already subscribed to the channel thank you thank you very much and uh, thank you for watching those videos uh, and I hope you find value in them and at this point let's not waste any more time let's jump into this procedure it's pretty simple uh, you don't even have to take the rear wheel off I'll show you how it's done so to start the process, uh, we want to undo those two bolts. There is one uh, with the 12 millimeter socket and six millimeter Allen key to loosen those. The first thing, what you want to do, you want to loosen that up, this pin right here, while it's still installed. Okay. My hand might be a little bit in the way but I'll try to do my best so you can see. You want to put, place the bolts on a clean surface. We'll clean them up after anyways before putting them back on. That one was a bit tight. <laughs> I torqued them up by hand last time. So that might be the problem. Technically you don't even have to take that Blake braid caliper out of there. You can just lift it and still probably get away. There's one more clip in the back that's holding my hose. But I will remove it because I want to clean everything as well with the brake cleaner fluid. So that is the pin here that's holding the whole caliper. So yeah, believe it or not, they are actually due for a change. I will replace them, no questions asked. So I will spray a good amount of brake cleaner inside. I cover that up with the rag, this way you don't get much dirt all over your bike and stuff and I will be changing this uh, retainer spring in here uh, because that uh, looks pretty rusty the last time when I looked at it 
and this time I went and bought a new one and it also cracked right here not, not, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it but there is a crack so before I take everything out I would like to push that, that piston back in place and I usually, usually use the paint stir stick that works most of the time so just wiggle it both ways this way it will go evenly inside I hope you can see that because I'm kind of blocking it you definitely don't want to use a screwdriver or metal I don't recommend it all right so there is that clip and it looks like it's broken at this point I will remove that pin that's holding the brake pads and there we go and be careful because there's a little o-ring at the back so you want to make sure that it's sitting on there and I'll clean it some more here now since the cylinder is pushed in It's always a good idea to give a good clean to remove all the debris, especially when you're riding off-road. The stuff collects inside and you want to make sure that you have a good, nice, fresh start. And I'll hang it on there. So on the new brake pads, you got those uh, metal pieces with the padding on, uh, below. So you want to transfer that if they're in a good shape onto the new ones. continue with the brake job here and I was able to get that spring that holds the brake pads and as you see in comparison I'm not sure how well is that gonna show in a video this part right here is kind of worn out and this small little tabs that are missing so whenever you are working on your brakes check those springs make sure they're in good conditions uh, the new one arrived to this morning so I can complete the job that I started yesterday. Uh, I had to stop the video until I get the part. I didn't want it to use that old part in emergency. I guess it could have fly for uh, if you're on the road and something happens that you have to change the brake pads, you know, you can get that. But believe it or not, the dealership didn't even have it uh, in stock. It had to be ordered. Uh, not the brightest thing because that's a common part probably that goes on the brake every time they change it so now let's put all this stuff together and just make sure that the wider part goes uh, closer to the piston on a brake caliper also yesterday I mentioned that I picked up the new plate here uh, the spring plate for the back of the brake that is located here in the back I'll show you in a second uh, this one is still okay not much damage but might as well change them both at the same time so basically this one here just installs right from the top right there so that's pretty straightforward and this one as I stated earlier it has to come in with the wider part facing towards the piston of the brake caliper okay that spring is in place now you want to put in brake shoes into the new caliper but first what I want to do just add a little bit of silicone grease right on that shaft not too much just a little bit just could gently coat it not too much at all and don't forget those metal plates that uh, has to be on there as well feed through both brake shoes and thread it in you don't have to tie it up yet and when you're installing the brake 
caliper back on here, you want to make sure you put the back uh, bolt first because that usually gets the more tricky. Okay, and now we'll grab this bolt right there that goes in here and you want to coat that sliding part as well with a little bit of silicone grease. A little goes a long way just to coat it gently. And just wiggle it a little bit and it should come in place. And again, just a little bit of tightening, not too much, just to grab the thread. Okay, now this is in a rubber grommet, so you want to slide that grommet back and you should be able to drop that caliper down. That spring puts a little bit of pressure. So this bolt right here goes to 25 foot-pounds of torque. I don't have such a small torque wrench that I can use uh, this socket with. So I'm just gonna have to go by hand, more or less. I should get an extension. All right, that bolt here, that goes to 13 foot-pounds of torque. Again, I have to use it the manual way. But be careful because it uh, doesn't really need that much. 13 foot-pounds is not really much. Because that would be quite easy to snap that bolt. And last, this bolt here, I do have a torque wrench for this, and it's set to 25 foot-pounds of torque. Really, again, not too much. It's just a little snag. So at this point, the brake job is pretty much complete. Uh, I just gotta put those uh, hose retainers back in place that I clipped earlier in the video. So make sure that those are staying on those thicker rubber grommets because uh, you don't want to have that uh, directly on that hose. Uh, that's an ABS hose. There we go, just like that. Spin the wheel, make sure there's nothing grabbing anywhere. That it spins freely. And we are in a good shape. The brake job is complete. Spin that wheel, wheel a little bit, pump the brake a couple times. This way you don't go on the road and, oops, shit, I have no brakes. All right, guys, as you see, it's a simple do-it-yourself job. If you want to save time and money instead of taking it to the mechanic, uh, pretty much anybody can do it. Uh, if you are just a little bit me mechanically inclined, doesn't take much to change those brakes, front or back. If you missed my video that I did uh, just a couple of weeks ago on the front brakes, don't forget to go back to my uh, tutorials uh, checklist you should be able to find it there if not I'll, I'll try to provide that uh, link in the description uh, below the video and as always if you like this content on this channel don't forget to hit the like button comment down below and subscribe to the channel that is always really appreciated it helps the YouTube to push the algorithm and the, my videos small channels are always struggling so that's uh, really helpful for anyone that uh, watches it and finds any value in those videos. So for now, thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video. And the bike is ready for Idaho BDR. Uh, new tires, front and back. The oil is changed, I changed it yesterday. I didn't film it, I have a couple videos on the channel as well about the oil changes. If you are interested to see how it's done, also uh, you'll find it on the playlist. Yeah, let's go and have fun riding again.